Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in Kannapolis, North Carolina at Poteet's Engine Rebuilding. I'm joined by Andrew Seldom Ridge. And right here between us is a 2.3 liter Durotech and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Andrew, thanks so much for giving us a little time today. Thanks for being here. To check out the shop and a couple of the builds that you guys have done. And right here, we got a Duratec engine, which is something a little bit more unique. You don't see it as often as uh, you know, yeah. your Chevys and uh, LSs and whatnot. You don't. So uh, if you would, walk us through a little bit about, you know, first of all, how the engine got here. Is this a new customer, a repeat customer? It is a repeat customer. Okay. Um, out of state, uh, we do some oddball stuff for them. Um, you know, we, we board and hone the cylinders, um, balance the crankshaft, deck the block. Um, he brought his own parts in, had his own little setup that he wanted. Okay. Uh, and we just, uh, made his parts work for what yeah. he wanted. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah. So you, you said a couple of the different machine jobs that you've done, but t walk us through everything that you did in terms of machine work. Sure. Um, so the first thing we did was uh, bore and hone the cylinders. Okay. Um, after that, we, we decked the block, get a true surface or yeah. a true to deck up. Um, after we did that, we balanced the rotating assembly with a new balancer we bought. Um, after we got it balanced up, uh, got the rings, uh, put it put it together. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then you mentioned that the customer in this case, you know, supplied you with some parts. He uh, did. Walk us through some of the internals that you got here on the sure. Short block. So the crank is stock. Okay. It's a stock Mazda crank, and he brought us a set of Eagle rods and a set of SuperTech 87 and a half millimeter pistons. Okay. Um, not sure about the brand of the rings, but they were included with the pistons. Okay. Um, that's about it, really. Um, Cleavite yeah. bearings okay. was in it. Yeah. Uh, so obviously you guys will do this type of work because it's here and you finished it. Yeah. Uh, but outside of stuff like that, what's uh, typically coming to the shop? The typical stuff is, uh, well, right now, it's marine stuff right now. Okay. You know, 350 Chevrolet, small block Chevrolet, LS. Yeah. Going in big time right now, boats. And then your typical stuff, uh, your Jeeps, your Fords, your Dodges. Yeah. Um, we get a, a wide array of, of the, we get the whole gamut. Yeah. You know, and we don't just do Chevrolet. Or, and I understand you not only do gas engines, but you do some diesel work as well. Yes, we do. Yeah. 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 And is that across the board or do you guys stick to a certain platform on the diesel side? Or? Uh, we usually have been sticking to light to medium duty diesel, but uh, which would be like your six, seven power strokes are coming on, your six, oh, four power strokes, yep. your six, six Duramax. Uh, we've been getting into the bigger stuff than heavier duty stuff. Yeah. Um, like your big Cummins, your, your DD 13 Volvo. Uh, okay. But um, very cool. Just been getting into that. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, Andrew, going back to Duratech for a second, how long does a job like this typically take you guys to? get through a short block rebuild? Um, not too long, yeah. uh, couple days. Okay. Yeah, couple yeah. days, doesn't take long. Perfect. Um, especially if we don't have to wait on parts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have good. all the parts and machine yeah. work, and the parts are work, machine work. Yeah, that, that's part. definitely the, what makes the lead times get long these days, right? Yeah, 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 yeah wait on parts. But yeah. Luckily he had everything and it was right. So yeah. He did his homework. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Well, Andrew, we appreciate you telling us a little about the Duratech and yeah. a little bit about some of the engines you guys built here. Yeah. Guys, we appreciate you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Andrew's got going on here at Petite's Engine Rebuilding. And of course, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.